Unlike her Uzalo character, Lindywe, who's always in hot water, actress Dawn Tandeka King is gracious and calm. What do you like the most about playing Mangoba? I like her when she's in control, in power. Like, I think we see her a lot in power when she is at her club, which is where she works. And that's where she is in control. That's the place that she finds peace, I suppose, because that's her work. That's her place of work. What is her evolution from the beginning of Uzalo? In all the seasons, there are instances where she's pushed far. But this particular season, her best friend kind of becomes a part of her, of her relationship with her husband. And that kind of presses all kinds of buttons. So yes, this season she has been pushed the furthest. While her criminal TV husband often pushes Dawn's character to the brink, Masoja Msiza always has her back. Masoja, you play Dawn Tandega's husband in Uzalo. How is it working with her? Everything that we do, the, the chemistry that we have, and, and the, the magic happens behind the scenes. Because uh, when we start rehearsing, we come up with what is written on the script and then we come up with our own creativity. That's when we start to laugh before we go in front of the camera. And after we've laughed it off, before we shoot, we are up there. And when we come on set, it's magic. That magic is clearly working. Multiple award-winning Uzalo is now one of the most watched TV shows in South Africa. How is it directing Dawn Tandega King? Mangob is a strong character, and Dawn is herself. She has a very strong personality and character, so it works easy for us. We don't have to over direct. You know, giving notes time after time after time, we don't do that because already they are one. You take Dawn, you take Mangoba, it's one thing. Clearly, Dawn and Masoja are a winning combination, but can Harmony keep up with this one woman dynamo? When she's not hard at work on set, she likes to get a taste of Durban. This is for you. Oh, thank you. What's this? This is what you're going to need today because we are going to be experiencing Durban from a completely different perspective, you and I. <laughs> OK, I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> that was a cool entrance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So you're actually originally from Durban? Yes, just outside of Durban, yeah. north coast, a place called Eshawe. It's an hour and a half from, from where we are now. Despite spending much of her time in KZN to film Uzalo, Dawn actually lives in Joburg, so her life's a bit of a balancing act. I'm going to show you how to use the Segway. It's very simple and easy, because now you need to have a good balance. The machine balances for you. So when you're stepping on, you need to step on as if you're stepping on the steps. If you want to move forward, you press on your toes and you lean forward. You start moving forward. If you want to stop, you press on your heels and you lean back. Okay, can you put your helmet on so that you can start? Dawn's acting debut was in 2012, when she landed the role of a gossipy, flirtatious domestic worker in a telenovela. She's the first to tell you that her path from drama student to TV star had no shortcuts. Learning how to ride these segways, you really see that practice makes perfect. And one thing that people don't see is how long and how many years it took for you to become an overnight success. Tell me about the journey. It was pretty much like the Segway. It was not easy. You fall on the wayside where you have to get up and dust yourself and move on. I think with me, the biggest stress was the fact that I had studied drama. But when I graduated and I really wanted to just jet off to Johannesburg, it didn't happen like that. I instead got a job in the tourism industry. I worked there for like three years and I was very frustrated at the end of it all because I was really not doing what I wanted to do. I quit because the family moved to, to Joburg in 2006. And that's when I started the search of a way to get inside the industry. But it's not easy and what I didn't know then was you have to find an agency so that you can get an opportunity to showcase what you have because if nobody knows what you have, it doesn't matter how good you are, you, you, you're not gonna get in there. Having made it there herself, she's gone from strength to strength. Being a mother of five, an artist, an MC, motivational speaker, there is so much that you do. How do you manage it all? I'm not alone in this. This is not mine. This is a gift that has come from God. 
he, he has a purpose for this and that's how I can juggle all these things. I need to be a mother to these children that he's given to me and I need to be the best mother ever. So I've got so much responsibility. That's why I'm saying it's not me. It's just, it cannot be me. I cannot be handling so much on my own. There's gotta be like an, an outer, stronger power that is in charge here. Talking about a higher perspective, I heard you've got something planned for us to see Durban from height. We're now done with the ground. I wanna show you Durban from the top. Durban's Moses Mabida Stadium has a sky car that travels to the top of the building. It serves up an unbeatable panoramic view of the coastline as well as the city. You even get to peek into Kings Park Rugby Stadium. Wow, this really is incredible. It is, isn't it? <laughs> you really are showing me Durban from a different perspective. Even though I'm out of my comfort zone. Oh, how so? Don't really like heights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I've got something that might just help you. What's we that? are being tourists here, so we can't be a tourist without taking a selfie. Do you mind? Not at all. Find the light, find the light. The key to a selfie be is the light. good light. Be the light. Good light. <laughs> Looking good, guys. Hashtag mission accomplished. Hashtag be the light. You seem to have so much free time. Who do you spend it with and where do you spend it? I do have a band that I sometimes spend my time with. So, yes, that's one thing that gets me going, that gets me very excited, my music. Okay, shall we go have a listen? We should. <laughs> Acting, singing, it seems like there's nothing Dawn doesn't do. She's also an experienced radio actress, a motivational speaker, and an MC for events. And that's still not covering all of it. Wow, the band sounds amazing. When did they start? We started working together in 2016. Our first big performance was in 2016 in May at a place called Ushwili. So that's where we performed for the first time. What are the hidden passions do you have? Another passion that I have is my, my healing. I'm a spiritual healer. I am what you call umtandazi, which is I, I heal through prayer. And my music is also a big part of, of my healing because it, it, it finds me, the, the songs. Every single song that I have, I have just received from the spiritual side. That's beautiful. We've gotten to know the beautiful city of Durban and we've gotten to know the beautiful soul, which is you, Don Tandega King. But now we want to know the beautiful sound, which is your band. So can you please go up there, join them, and let me enjoy the lovely <laughs> harmonies. <laughs> of course, please enjoy. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do this. Oh. 